got cubes. OK. It looks like somebody just stood over it and done it Brazilian. Oh. God, it's crusty. Yeah, that's definitely like a poo bag. Yep. In Henderson, West Auckland, it's another cracking day full of promise and potential. Corinthian property manager Michelle is making an inspection on a flat where her tenant has suddenly vamoosed. It's not ideal, but these things happen. Parking up at the property, early indications are not good. Already Michelle can see signs of dilapidation. Right, here we've got um, a lovely little um, unit that um, we let to a um, mother and child. Um, been here two months of a 12-month fixed term. Kept it. So we've got um, possession by tribunal and now we're here to see what has been done. When a tenant disappears, is uncontactable and no rent's been paid, the owner's property must be reclaimed. Look at the lawns. I don't think she's actually mowed them in the whole two months that she's been here. As you'd see, you wouldn't want to drop your keys. Oh, it smells like cat piss. Right, let's see. Michelle knows from experience nothing's getting better from here on in. Let's open up and get some light in here. Right, what have we got? Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, the smell. I should really have gloves on for this. So far, so bad. But worse is waiting in those perennial renters gold mines of filth and depravity. The kitchen and bathroom. Oh wow. Look at this. It's kind of like somebody's been standing here going... On Auckland's North Shore, property manager Holly Joss is heading to a house leased for a year by some renters who found themselves unable to re-enter the country. Instead of working it out with Holly, they worked out a secret deal with some unapproved student friends. Holly is unimpressed. So these tenants have sublet um, to a couple of students. In their tenancy agreement, it says that they can't sublet without the prior permission of the landlord. Uh, they didn't obtain the prior permission of the landlord, so they have been subletting it um, illegally, uh, which the landlord has not been happy with at all. After finding an unidentified young man in bed surrounded by squalor, Holly hit the roof and chucked them all out. Now she's going to see if they've kept their promise to clean up. The property was uh, extremely dirty, uh, made no attempts to clean anything. So that's the thing, when tenants sublet properties um, without our permission, then there's no reference procedure. Um, so we don't know who's moving into the property, which is always a worry. Holly faces a double jeopardy this morning. OK, let's see what we can find. Not only could the place be a shambles, squatters being squatters, there may be a reinfestation. Ooh, what is that smell? Oh, that's gross. At Dunedin's Click Property Management, property manager Andrea's got a serious problem. We have had a lot of problems with this tenant. The owner has exercised the right not to renew the lease to the tenant, much to her disgust because she didn't actually think there was a problem. She was happy renting it. She would have signed in for another year, but the owner looking at the reports was not happy to take her on. Um, it's just the way she's been living in the property is actually, it's deteriorating the condition of the, of the building. Okay, keys, fine. And today, I need these. Let's take loads, because I don't think it's going to be pretty. Andrea's working for the landlord and Dunedin City. Late rent and poor hygiene standards have locals worried property prices may plummet. This property we're turning up to is in quite an affluent suburb of Dunedin. And I have a funny feeling it could be quite effluent as well. She doesn't know it yet, but Andrea's throwaway joke about effluent will prove amazingly prophetic. She's about to walk straight into a turd of a tenancy twilight zone. OK, deep breath. Will it be deep breaths before a deep dive into a dungeon of depravity? Or deep breaths of delight in a dwelling that's been disinfected and done up? So I've been told the back door's unlocked, so... Let's go in and see what we have in store for us. Oh my God. In Dunedin, yes. Click property manager Andrea's had a horrifying first impression of a rental where the tenant's lease wasn't renewed due to ongoing breaches of the tenancy. I have literally one step in from the back door 
and I feel like my feet have stuck to the carpet. It's disgusting. How can people live in such filth? The tenant did not live alone. She had company in the form of fungal spores living on almost every surface. Everywhere you look, it's just filth. Filth, 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 filth. And flies. You have a field day in here. Where there's flies, there's spiders. Look at the cobwebs. Look. And the curtains they call home are crispy. We asked her repeatedly to wash the curtains, to get rid of that, and to ventilate. Open windows. I don't think they know the meaning of the word. If this is how she lived, how did she cook? Yeah, this all baked on crap. Can you hear that? For anyone just walking in on this might think I'm doing a dance. No, I'm actually just trying to pick up my feet from sticking to the vinyl. The worst is yet to come, and as often happens in property management, it's in the bathroom area. Oh no. Here's the shower. In Henderson, Corinthian property manager Michelle's tenant took out a 12-month tenancy and bailed after two. Right, you see? Oh, wow. Well, curtains are closed. Not two in the afternoon, two in the months. Right, what have we got? Oh, look at this. Oh, I should really have gloves on for this. Right, what do we have in here? Oh, oh. What a mess, just left. Up and left, everything is still here. Why would you just put it into a rubbish bag and just be considerate of the person that has to come in and find this? Oh, it's smoking inside. Ooh! Look at it, look at the mould. It's kind of like, let's scab it, we don't want to live here anymore. What the hell is that? Pasta's not cooked though. Maybe she didn't have time to cook that. Michelle's tenant appears to have literally dropped everything and run out of the house. It's like, what was she thinking? Despite having the means to carry a whole bunch of stuff out to the car. Here we've got bags, and bags, and bags, and bags, more bags, and you guessed it, another bag. The more Michelle looks, the more she finds. A little snack, uh, I don't know what that is, is that uh, bread? You could have actually taken that with her. Someone didn't tidy up in the kitchen, but they sure tidied up in the bathroom. Oh wow, cubes. Okay, I don't know what's been happening on the toilet. Look, it's kind of like standing over the toilet and trimming. Warning, parental discretion. There's been shaven and misbehaving. Looks like somebody just stood over it and done a Brazilian. All this like Nivea men, Gillette, she's got a, a shaving fetish, like uh, shaving gel. Hmm, it's odd, it's peculiar. Special haircuts are not on the list of forbidden activities at any Corinthian property, but destruction of fixtures and fittings is. Oh, oh no, no wait, wait, what's that? Oh, it's kind of like hit the... <laughs> oh, that's foul. Undies on the floor, stains, a fascination with hair removal. What on earth has been going on under this roof? Look what we've got here. Where would you be without your vodka? There's been quite the party in this property, but now the party's over. Moved in, didn't pay a cent, and then pissed off. <laughs> in the beachside suburb of Takapuna, property manager Holly Joss has encountered a bad smell in a rental where some untidy, squatting students were chucked out for obvious reasons. It stinks in here. Oh. And flush the toilet. The contents of the lav are disturbing, and it's not just the smell. Whoever used it last has breached the local toilet paper bylaw. I don't even know if this is toilet paper. That's the thing. I mean, it doesn't have a hole in it, but it does. It's it's quite thick. I don't think they should be uh, flushing this down the toilet. So I don't know where they got this from. It's a mystery. Where is the toilet paper Kiwis know and love? Wow, well, what have we got here? There it is, in the bedroom, applied to the wrong crack. They've obviously decided there's a bit of a draft in the window, and I think this is toilet paper. <laughs> Look at that. 
In the garage, the smell of rotten garbage hits Holly like a ton of bricks. Oh, rubbish, look. How, oh, look at that. Oh, we'll just leave our rubbish inside the house. We won't bother putting it in the rubbish bin. That is so gross. In this corner, mould. Yucky mould stuff in the wardrobe. On the carpet. Oh, look, there's a lovely cockroach on the floor. None of what Holly's found so far bodes well for the house, the landlord or the former inhabitants. The kitchen could be catastrophic. I hope it's not that bad upstairs. That's pretty disgusting in there, it stinks. In Dunedin, Click property manager Andrea's halfway through an inspection of a flat whose tenant had an allergy to cleaning and paying rent. She's about to view the bathroom. Oh, yuck. Look at that drain. That is absolutely revolting. The contents of the shower trap are long and black. Great for coffee, bad for Andrea. Oh. God, it's crusty. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh. Oh, there's no way I could use that shower. I would feel so much dirtier after a shower than before. Um. But wait, there's more. There's more, all right. In the toilet, Andrea finds something she's never encountered in all of her years of property management. My God. I'm no plumber, but I know there's something wrong. To run a twin system, the former tenant either loved paying water bills or she had an extremely fibre-rich diet. Oh my God, I think we're going to have to get our plumbers in to have a look at that just to check it. I've seen enough, so I'm out of here. The joys of being a property manager. And it's only a Monday. This week's shaping up to be a goodie. On Auckland's North Shore, property manager Holly Joss is carefully conducting an exit inspection where some squatting students cleared out and then cleared out. Couldn't even be bothered to flush the toilet. After being promised the place would be clean, Holly literally needs to get to the bottom of why it's not. The answer is closer than she cares to know. OK, it's a dining room, so look, they can't even be bothered to put their rubbish in the bin. They've just left it up here, all food all over the floors, benches need wiping, the hob's pretty disgusting. Oh, that's sticky. No one in their right mind would cook, let alone eat, in this kitchen. But it's possible someone has and paid the ultimate price. Oh, look, we have a faeces pack with what looks like poo on the floor. I, I don't want to touch it. I have no idea what a faeces pack is. I think it's maybe something you poo in. Why would you even write faeces pack on there? Wouldn't the doctor just give it to you and say, hey, do a poo in here and bring it back <laughs> to me? I don't know. That's pretty gross. The conclusion is obvious. Scared, unsettled and unsanitary students became an explosive situation. Holly hopes they get better soon. So I need to ring my cleaner and get her in straight away. So as soon as the cleaner's been in, uh, we'll get the rubbish collection guy in as well, get all that cleaned up, then we can advertise the property back on the market for rent and we'll make sure the cleaner takes the faeces pack with her because I don't want to touch it. Mm. On the west side of Auckland City, Corinthian property manager Michelle is heading back to the junk-strewn rental where her tenant upped and left two months into a 12-month lease. Oh my gosh. Oh, now that is just filthy. Of particular concern is the grubby bathroom with a broken tap, tired vanity and more pubes than a Brazilian beauty salon at closing time. Seriously, you've got to be trimming with the with all the amount of razors around here. It's like we're hoping to find a lovely new um, clean property that's all um, well presented and um, ready for the next tenant to move into. Michelle's been advised by the cleaners, gardeners and hire hubbiesers that this was one of the most challenging jobs they've go. ever undertaken. But just look at the results. Wow. We've got all the rubbish has been removed. Um, we've got the painting. The painting's been done. As we saw before, it was all blotchy and we've done all the trims. So that's all good to see. OK, so the kitchen, as we remembered, was absolutely filthy. 
the oven had all food all through here and it's looking lovely and clean. Windows, cupboards, but nothing hiding, no food growing. Okay. So, the bathroom. Remember what the bathroom looked like? We had the toilet that was absolutely filthy, now clean. Pretty much, you can eat off it. <laughs> yeah, this has come up brilliant. Lovely, clean, fresh, and the curtains rehung. We're all good to go. It's, it's lovely, looking really good. Really good. Yep, well placed. Michelle's fast and efficient MO means this rental can go straight back onto the market. It's a 10 out of 10 for Corinthian. It's a cracking midwinter morning in Dunedin and Click Property Manager Andrea is going back to the house occupied by a tenant who couldn't pay rent on time or keep up Click Clean standards. Oh, the mould was actually into the wall lining board so we had to actually have the property rejibbed in that room, including a couple of the rooms had to have new carpet because they wouldn't clean up. Okay, so I'm also going to grab the trusty vacuum cleaner because I can't guarantee that the tradies have actually cleaned up after themselves. Like a knight with a jousting stick, Andrea's off to war. Heaven help any dust or dirt trying to reinvade the address. She's seen enough already. The most disturbing thing that we found was one toilet bowl and two systems. Not the normal in a property. Um, so we've had to get the plumbers to fix that. The new tenant is a clean living, wholesome, regular sort. He's also a one cistern man, more than happy to do with just one flush. Wow, back to one cistern. Actually looks a lot better, surprise, surprise. I love the smell of new carpet. It's quite refreshing to know that this isn't that stench of mould that was here from days gone by. Heat pump, curtains, window sills, walls, all new or as new condition. So I remember the oven was a cesspit and more so on the outside. But look at that, it's almost brand new. One final thing, nearly forgot. That trap in the bottom of the shower was absolutely caked with dark, manky hair. Voila, like magic. Hair be gone. And with a quick vacuum, or as they say around these parts, a lux, one happy property manager can call this a job well done. So there we go. A little bit of paint, a lot of cleaning, and a little bit of TLC, and a quick extra vac just at the end there, just to get a little bit of rough off the carpet. And this property is now ready for its new tenants to make their own home. In the tree-lined avenues of Auckland's Takapuna, property manager Holly Joss is heading back to the rental sublet to students by tenants stranded overseas. The tenants never asked us they could sublet. I came here on inspection and I found someone else living in the house. After purging the property of squatters, their junk, associated filth and faecal sample bags... Yeah, what on earth is the faeces pack doing in the kitchen? Holly's checking on the cleaner's progress. So the couch is gone, which is great, so I can now take a photo of the uh, patio without the couch. So much nicer. By golly, Holly is jolly happy with the exterior. Hopefully inside is just as impressive. Carpets, walls and windows are absolutely spotless. Wow, this is much better. Look at my sink, it's clean. This is all clean around here, it was all pink and disgusting. And the toilet. Nice, no wheeze in the toilet. And in the kitchen, ditto. Now my cleaners have done an amazing job. The sink is clean, the dishwasher's clean, and the feces bag has gone. Yay, I'm so pleased.